Hello friends. Good morning. Um, I am doing another vlog today. As you can tell, I'm looking a little rough. I figured we could reset with each other. Um, I was sick at the beginning of the week and then lost all motivation for pretty much until today and it's Thursday. So we're going to try and be productive, get stuff done. I figured you guys could help hold me accountable. Um, we need to do a lot. So I'm going to run you through the list. Okay. We need to one, clean my room. Two, we have laundry to do. We need to transfer all of my streaming stuff to my partner's PC because tomorrow we got invited to the Sky Children of Light concert, which I'm really excited about. The only thing is it takes place at 7 a.m. and I have to start stream probably around 6.30 in the morning. And my partner works tomorrow at like nine, so I'd feel bad waking him up when I do. So, that's why we're doing the concert in his office. But yeah, and then I need to do some content work because I've been woefully neglecting it. <laughs> so, um, we're gonna work on that. And then finally, the Starbucks fall drinks released today. I know, I'm really basic about it, but they have a chai tea with a pumpkin cream cold foam, which is literally the best thing that you will ever have. You need to try it. If you like chai tea, please try it. Like the pumpkin flavoring really isn't much at all. So we should go get that today too. And then I might take a nap this afternoon if I'm gonna be honest, cause I didn't fall asleep until four in the morning. And it's currently about 1040 and I've been awake since nine. So I also wanna do perhaps something a little active today, but it's been 90 degrees out you guys. And not even 90, it's been like closer to the hundreds. So going outside and doing stuff just doesn't seem ideal. So we'll see if we do that. But I think we'll start by cleaning up the room a little bit and just taking it easy and just slowly get stuff on a to-do list done. book update for you guys. Um, I just finished The Inheritance Games, the first book, and I actually really liked it. I didn't think I was gonna like it at first just because the first like 100 pages, eh, a little more than that if I'm gonna be honest, was really hard to get into, um, but I told myself to keep reading it because it's really not that big of a book. It looks bigger on camera than it is. It's only like 300 pages and the text is actually all pretty big. Not that I'm doing a good job showing it, but it was really good. I think if you haven't read it yet or if you were struggling to get through the like beginning part of it, the first like 100 pages or so, it gets a lot better. Like I kind of thought the main boys in it were kind of insufferable at the beginning. Um, you'll know who I'm talking about if you read it, but they actually turn out pretty good. They have some really good character development. So I want to possibly get the second book at some point and just read it because like I said, I liked it. I rated it like three and a half, four stars probably. I wanted to show you guys this. So I've been trying to get better at using Notion because I really like how customizable it is. And it also is nice to see a list of what you need to get done in the day and just, you know, check it off. So I've, for a while now, I've been using Kennedy, AKA Cozy Games, um, her Notion template, but I'm slowly redoing it so it's more, mine and I'm not just you know blatantly using hers which I don't think she would care but um 
I'm slowly redoing it and I thought I'd show you guys the start of it. I need to change some more stuff, but I don't know. She did such a good job at setting this up. Like she has the cutest little stickers. She has some like Animal Crossing stickers on it and stuff like that. And I kind of want to keep those, but let me show you. Okay, so this is the town square. It's what she named it. And then this is what I'm slowly doing to it. I haven't changed the layout or anything at all but I've added new stickers and changed the colors and stuff like that. I want to get really good at using Notion, you guys, because I just love it. Like, I have other templates on here and stuff like that. I have the Stardew Valley Perfectionist Tracker. I have one that's all content work related, so I can check, like, my growth, any sponsorships I'm doing, my ideas for the week, stuff like that. Um, and that one's really nice. And then I also have a budget planning one, which I'm not gonna lie, I don't use very often. <laughs> I should probably get better at that. But, alas, here we are. So, yeah, I know that wasn't on the list of stuff to be done, but I just wanted to show you guys it because I've been trying to use it more. Okay, I started laundry. So that is going. And then I talked to my partner and we decided to not set up all of my stuff in his room because he has to get ready for work tomorrow probably around 7 30 and the concert doesn't start until 7 so it doesn't really make sense to do that because he's gonna have to get up at like 7 anyways so <sighs> I feel bad about it that I'm gonna have to wake him up at like 6 20 ish tomorrow but yeah, it just doesn't make sense for me to move all of my stuff to his room or like reset up all of my stuff because he also streams. Um, so I, I just, I don't know. I don't want to mess with all of his stuff as well. Um, so we actually don't have as much to do today as I thought. We're still going to do laundry. I kind of want to make a mood board for the notion that I was showing you guys. Either like a mood board or just now a mood board something nice to look at to like help motivate me and stuff like that and then I think we are going to probably get Starbucks and I want to play some Sky Children of the Light today for the concert tomorrow because I've only played the game a little bit if I'm gonna be honest it's an absolutely beautiful game and I've seen the Aurora concert before um but I need to re-familiarize myself with the game because I haven't touched it in a minute. So, you know what? We might end up doing some like cozy hobby stuff this afternoon, which is going to be nice. And I still need to work on content too. I need to do some Instagram posts and a TikTok. And yeah, that's the plan for the rest of the day, I think. And of course, as things come up, I'll let you know. I also don't think I'm gonna get ready today. I think it's gonna be a messy kind of day. Oh wait! I got my hair cut. It's a mess right now, but yeah, I look like a mess. Jeez, okay. It's short. It looks a lot better when I'm ready and I, you know, have done something with my face and, you know, maybe curled it or done absolutely anything with it, but yeah, I cut it all off. Not all of it, obviously, but I cut off like four or five inches of hair and I like it. Hello, I just finished the mood board. I'll show you that in a second. Um, it's not anything crazy, but I thought it was cute. So I'll show you that. And then I think I'm gonna go change out laundry and probably have some lunch. And then I will catch back up with you a little bit later that's the little mood board it has some pictures I took and then the top two photos are just cozy little things hi friends it's a little bit later I got my Starbucks it's secured it's just so good like you don't really taste the pumpkin it's just super creamy it's super good so what have I been up to? I took a nap since I've last seen you because I was tired. Um, I need to bring up laundry here in a little bit. And then there actually is some stuff I need to do to get prepared for the concert tomorrow. Um, just some like little overlay things that I need to set up for stream. Um, 
And at the moment I am working on my Instagram post, I don't think I'm gonna do a TikTok. No, I should, but I'll do it later. Um, and yeah, that's about it. Okay, hello. Instagram post is done and I kind of figured it'd be fun to answer some questions from you guys. Um, I've never really done a Q&A before or anything like that and this isn't really a Q&A, there's only a few questions. But I thought that would be a fun way to end the video and I'm gonna leave you guys a question at the end as well to answer. So I thought that would be fun. Okay, first question. If you could have any job or anything you ever wanted, what would it be? Job wise, I would love to do content creation full time. That is my goal no matter what one day in the future. I know it's probably not gonna be soon, but I would really love to do this because this is what I'm truly passionate about. This is what makes me happy. Um, so yeah, I think I would really wanna do content creation. It's truly what makes me happy most days. Um, and I just, I love creating and doing little Instagram posts and streaming and stuff like that. So I would love that. And then for anything I'd ever want, I'm not gonna lie, I just wanna be able to live comfortably in the future. <laughs> That's probably not the answer you were expecting by any means, but I just wanna be able to like have my own house in the future, live with security ultimately like i feel like that shouldn't be something that's high on my list but i don't know i feel like i feel like that's very important right now so i'm gonna go with that next question is what are my top five favorite games now this one is kind of hard for me to think about my first one is animal crossing i will always go back to that game no matter what it is such a comfort game for me um I've been playing Animal Crossing since the GameCube. I don't fully remember the GameCube as much like that because I was really young when I played it, but I've been playing since then. And I've played City Folk, I've played New Leaf, obviously New Horizons, which is a lovely one. So that would be the first one. The second one, I'm probably gonna go with Stardew Valley. I feel like it's just, that's kind of a given, honestly. Stardew Valley is such an amazing game. And then for my third one, I have to go with Legend of Zelda. It is just kind of nostalgic for me. Like I haven't gotten through all of Tears of the Kingdom yet and I really haven't played it much, but I got into gaming when my dad brought home Twilight Princess and him and I would play it every weekend when I would come over um, and he would wait for me to play it. And so we played through all of Twilight Princess together and pretty much since then, any new Zelda that's come out, him and I have played together. Um, so, yeah, I'm gonna have to go with that. And then, number four, I was really thinking about this. I kind of want to say Firewatch. It's always a game that I recommend to people. It's always a game I love. Yeah, I think Firewatch has to be it. Because it's just, it's so good. I always like tell people to try it out and stuff like that. And then for my last one, for my last one, I don't have a specific game, but I'm gonna go with Riot Games, the like developers, not the developers, the game company. Um, because for a lot of people who don't know this, I started streaming with League of Legends. Um, I, my first ever like Twitch interaction or anything like that was through Pokimane. Um, my boyfriend introduced me to Pokimane when we were in high school. And since I found her, I really liked the idea of Twitch and stuff like that. And so I started streaming League. Was I ever good at it? No. But yeah, that's how I started streaming. And then I picked up Team Fight Tactics and then I still play Valorant too every once in a while. I'm not good at any of them, except for maybe TFT. But yeah, that's what really got me into PC gaming was League of Legends. And then pretty much from there, I don't know why I'm telling you the whole history, but <laughs> from there, um, I found the cozy gaming community and that definitely has changed a lot for me. Obviously, I'm a cozy content creator now and 
yeah, but Riot Games will definitely have a big part in that. I would have never tried streaming or anything if I never found Pokimane or <laughs> League of Legends, so I would definitely have to go with that. And then the last question was, what are your nearby plans for the future? So I am currently looking for a job. Um, I've been on the job search for a little bit and I've had a few interviews and stuff like that, but nothing is stuck yet. Um, so immediate future, getting a job, starting work, saving up money, and moving out eventually, because right now I live with my family. Um, so yeah, that is the plan for the immediate future. Eventually, I want to get a dog. <laughs> um, but yeah, really ultimately is continuing doing content, keep growing this beautiful community, um, saving money, and eventually moving out. That is my goal for the next, like, three, four years, which I think is a, a good goal. It's hard to move out right now, and I know a lot of you probably feel this, but yeah, also like the job search hasn't been easy either. Like a lot of people want people with experience, and since I just graduated, I have an associate's degree too. I don't have a bachelor's degree. Um, it's kind of hard finding a job, and I've kind of debated going back to school and furthering my education to get like a bachelor's degree or even getting a another associate's degree in um, marketing just because I feel like that would do really well with social media and stuff like that and that's really what I've been enjoying. I do enjoy like technical computer stuff as well but I yeah I don't know I can't overall I don't see myself continuing with IT in like 15 years let's say um I mean hopefully by that time I can do content um but yeah I don't know I want a more creative outlet I think so that might be something we pursue it might not be we'll figure it out <laughs> but yeah those are my plans for the immediate future and then yeah and my question for you guys I'll answer this as well what currently makes you the happiest? What is getting you up out of bed? What can you go into each day knowing without a fault will bring you some joy? For me, obviously, I've kind of already answered this, but it's doing content. I, don't get me wrong, have had moments of burnout and stuff like that, but this is just something to me that makes me so happy. And I've made so many friends and I know every day I get to talk to my lovely Discord and stream and create content for you guys. And that's truly what makes me the happiest. I love it. Nothing, a passion that I've ever had, nothing has compared to doing this. So yeah, let me know what yours are in the comments. And thank you guys so much for watching this video. Let me know what you think. Um, I am going to be better about uploading YouTube videos. Hold me accountable. If you haven't seen a video in like six days, comment and be like, hey, Torchy, we need a video from you. And I will get working on it, I promise. I need to get better at it. I always push it off and I need to get better at it. So that is my goal. That is a goal for the immediate future too. <laughs> but yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your week. I love you so much. Goodbye.